Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video this morning. I hope that you guys are doing really wonderful and uh, thank you by the way for all the kind messages yesterday. Uh, I'm definitely feeling better this morning, still not 100% but uh, I'm getting there and so we'll be taking a look at all that is happening and what is expected as we head throughout today and so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so let us go ahead and return to this infrared satellite imagery and we can see that uh, there is quite a bit of activity noted across some areas. And so looking out into the main development region though, uh, there we have all that activity in association with the tropical wave. Now that is going to be approaching the Caribbean as we head into the new week and uh, it could enhance the rainfall across the eastern Caribbean. So I'll be keeping watch on that, uh, but I have been watching what models are expecting and I'll be keeping you guys posted as necessary now behind it we see that other cluster of showers and thunderstorms actually in association with another wave uh, emerging from the coast and so uh, let's zoom into some areas now go into the southeastern Caribbean and uh, for parts of northern South America we can see that uh, there is lots of shower and thunder there is a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity in the southeastern Caribbean uh, in the vicinity of Trinidad Tobago go into Grenada the Grenadines and so uh, it's likely uh, it's likely resulted in some rainfall uh, earlier this morning so you guys can let me know what conditions were like for you if you're in any of those areas or anywhere really you can let me know uh, what's happening in your area but as we head further north we're not seeing where much has taken place uh, going to the ABC Island similar story uh, nothing much really noted in the area at this time and so now let's drift to the west and we can see that for uh, parts of southern Central America there is a lot of activity lots of showers and thunderstorms and so uh, these are likely going to be triggering flooding in some areas if it isn't already doing so uh, especially for Panama and so I hope that everyone being affected by this is okay because when we're talking about persistent uh, heavy rainfall that induces a lot of flooding and so a tropical wave in the area is helping to enhance all of that activity which is also extended into Costa Rica and Nicaragua but as we head up further north uh, we're not seeing where much is happening. Now uh, going more to the northern Caribbean we're not seeing too much in the vicinity of the Cayman Isles we see all that uh, shower and thunderstorm activity uh, just between Jamaica and parts of eastern Cuba and so it is likely that there is going to be some substantial rainfall within the area as we head to later today and I'll uh, go into the Bahamas though we're not seeing too much but there is some uh, shower and thunderstorm activity noted within the vicinity of the Turks and Caicos Islands and also uh, near the Florida Keys so that is what is happening this morning and uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at the rainfall total maps. As we're going to be heading throughout today, uh, we can see here that the Euro is expecting that there is going to be some substantial rainfall across most of northern South America. Most areas from Colombia going all the way to French Guiana are likely to be impacted uh, by some rainfall activity, especially due to that daytime heat. And so that helps to result in loss of instability, thus creating a favorable environment for uh, afternoon rainfall. And that is what we've been seeing happening a lot uh, as of lately. And we're in summer, so that is incredibly enhanced right now lots of heating out there so uh, we're seeing that euro is expecting that areas such as the grenadines grenada trinidad tobago and barbados will be experiencing quite a bit of rain a chance of rainfall for the rest of the lesser antilles but not a whole lot is expected going over into the virgin islands in puerto rico much is not expected as well hispaniola similar story uh even for some sections of jamaica but as i said for cuba and even for the cayman islands we're seeing that a lot of rainfall is forecast and uh, going down into the southwestern Caribbean Sea along the Central American territories, there we see that uh, a lot of rainfall is likely as what we saw on the satellite imagery. And then for other areas heading up into uh, into Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, Belize, Yucatan, isolated shower and thunderstorm activity. And then uh, going up into the vicinity of uh, the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Bahamas, and even for South Florida, we can see that some substantial rainfall is likely as we head throughout today. And so guys, as we take a look at what the GFS is expecting, we're seeing that it is something pretty much similar to Euro, uh, showing maybe a bit more or less rainfall for some areas, but uh, overall, the same general uh, expectation in terms of that rainfall activity. And so I will keep you posted on all that is happening and what is expected as well. And so in a future update, maybe later today or tomorrow, I will be delving into uh, above average rainfall activity across the main development region in terms of 
those tropical waves and when we could possibly see something develop out there and so that is pretty much it for right now and i hope that you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments i will respond as best and as soon as i can and remember to always be with the wise